Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. Welcome into Sports Fanatic News. I'm Projo, a.k.a. Joe Borick, as we're going to review, finally, a very good game by the Flyers. Did they take the straight-line path um, to victory? No, they did not. They did not take the straight-line peaceful path to victory. They more took um, the path filled by every Disney villain and villain from Resident Evil and Silent Hill to get there or a roller coaster ride, whatever analogy you want to use, but a W is a W, and they were able to outshoot the Islanders 31 to 25. I mean, this team, it's been a weird roller coaster ride. That's why I wanted to bring up that analogy kind of all season, where at the start of this season, we were playing, winning hockey, but getting playing through flaws and getting outshot tremendously often. Where then we started out shooting teams and losing in this recent stretch because guys are out of position. We're protecting our goaltender tremendously awful usually. And stuff of that nature, the list goes on. Well, yesterday, uh, this kind of balanced itself out. The Flyers, for the first two periods, looked very good in this game and had, by far, in my opinion, their best second period of the season, which has been a very big gripe for this team, the second period has been a big issue. Oscar Lindbrom, after getting benched to reset himself, had a tremendous game. Like he said, he stepped up big time, paraphrasing from his post-game comments. He just needs to continue to do this, and it can't just be one game for him. That's obviously spot on. But he was able to get a goal on a rebound in front, and then a nice other goal as well. And then G had the deflection goal. He just continues to perform well, as A.V. said in his post-game presser that... um. G just was a big leader. He was able to lead the comeback after the blowout from the Rangers. And it's very nice after having that very bad game to the Rangers now to be able to, in the last three, win two out of the last three, still say we battled and won 5-4 in a game that should have been easier but still was a victory against the Rangers. Then the Islanders are a team, yes, we should have been able to defend this lead. The first goal was kind of on heart. Um, obviously, he said he even would probably admit he would want that one back. Um, the Del Calle goal uh, was, again, our defense breaking down, and then Wallstrom was left open in front of the net. I mean, Nick Letty um, was able to just get the puck right over to Del Calle, Del Calle and uh, he was able to score for that one. And then Ajo, of all people, um, was able to score for the one as well that he was able to to snipe the Del Cole goal, excuse me, actually I misspoke, that was the one that Hart could have saved, that went over his glove, I was thinking of the Ajo goal that was sniped, that Letty got over to Ajo on um, coming in, if it would be the right side on this side, that Ajo, Sebastian Ajo of the Islanders of all people was able to snipe for a goal and then Wallstrom was left wide open in front of the net, the Del Cole goal was actually the goal that Hart would want back. But Letty had a perfect pass over to Ajo, who was just coming down the seam, and Sanheim didn't pick him up uh, for the second goal, which was for Ajo, and then Wallstrom was able to tie it. But luckily, Oscar had a beautiful snipe. The dude is a hell of a shot, probably the best shot on the team, like I said in a past video a day or two ago. And he just needs to consistently use it more. He played with that Oscar Lindbrom spunk yesterday, and he was by far my player of the game. Uh, he had a goal to be able to start us off. And then he had the game finishing goal to be able to end us out. And that is huge. Giroux is by far my second star of the game. He just continues to perform since coming back and was able to rally the troops according to the team in AV and really be the big, the Don, the big man on campus to be able to help everyone to perform to their best of their ability. Nate Prosser was also able to get, obviously, an assist, excuse me, on the Giroux goal as well. And he's been struggling since coming back in. Teeks was able to get an assist on that goal as well. So hopefully he will be able to get going and get churning. And this can kind of be the start of something good um, for the Flyers and get them moving in the right direction. This was a good game. Um, it was a game that I thought Hart also, um, in 25 shots, faced, um, making <clears throat> 21 or 20, 22 saves, uh, there we go, um, terrible at math, I don't know why I couldn't figure that out, uh, making 22 saves, uh, he looked good and poised, the only goal that he probably won't back is the Del Cole goal, because the other ones he didn't really have much of a chance, uh, the defense, uh, didn't pick up guys again, and that's the reason why the Islanders were able to battle back in this game, but this is an Islanders team, we knew they were going to have a big push, and the Flyers were able to persevere through that push, um, I obviously would like to see them this game revealed again that we need to trade 
for our defensemen, a veteran defenseman. Obviously, the Jomersons, the Goa guys, the word Ekholm will be the best. But again, stay tuned tomorrow. I'm going to do a video on that where I give my top defensemen, top three that I want, and the reasons why I would want those guys. As well as tomorrow, I'm going to give my top three forwards and the reasons I would want those guys have been all those guys just as a hint are going to be more of guys that bring grit and physicality so please stay tuned for that but this has been a reaction to the flyers and islanders again uh jeru is a player of the game the second star of the game the first star is oscar limblum who closes out the game winning goal and was able to also start us with the with the goal and then i will also give it to carter hart because he looked poised other than that del cole goal uh for the third star of the game so third star carter hart second star claude Giroux. First star Oscar Lindbrom as the Flyers were able to get a win and be able to win two out of three even with just having a very big game that we can just forget and throw in the trash can hopefully now and be starting to move forward in the right direction in the middle as the Flyers take on the Islanders again tomorrow at 7 o'clock. Stay tuned for a preview I either do tonight or tomorrow um, looking forward to that game and looking ahead to that game. I hope everyone enjoyed this reaction to the Flyers and Islanders game. A big win, baby. We brought that anytime, anywhere to the Nassau, I think it's the Memorial Coliseum or whatever it's called now in its last year as the Islanders are going to move to Belmont. It's great to be able to be 3-0, and a big 3-0 against an opponent that we don't normally match up against this year. So hopefully we can continue that and make it 4-0 tomorrow. So again, stay tuned for that preview. And please like, comment, and subscribe here. Please, please, I'm trying to hit 125 by next week. And also like, comment, and subscribe at Steel Flyers and Flyers Nitty Gritty and Peyton on the Radio and Off the Wall Hockey and Pilo Wisdom. We really appreciate your support. Enjoy all the hockey action, everybody. For Projo, peace out.